Tomorrow, Tech Cocktail, one of the country's most recognized organizations for startups and emerging technology, will showcase some of Washington, D.C.'s most promising early-stage tech companies. Now, this morning, pardon me, the founder of Tech Cocktail, Frank Gruber, joins us to talk about the importance of the conference in our area and the newest tech innovations. Thanks for coming in. We well, appreciate you, it. Thank you, Appreciate you having me. First of all, I have to say that I was not familiar with Tech Cocktail until a few days ago, actually. Uh, I explain what it is sure. exactly. Yeah, so Tech Cocktail is... It's a tech blog, and we cover kind of the latest tech innovations across the country. Um, so you can just go to techcocktail.com and kind of read about what's happening. But aside from that, you know, we kind of focus on the early stage tech uh, innovations, but then ultimately um, host events across the country. So uh, we, we showcase early stage uh, startups at those events. We have these mixer events. We bring together the community. We bring together the latest early stage tech companies, give them a complimentary place to showcase, and ultimately try to help them, you know, grow. And so at the conference, uh, you, you showcase these companies. Mm -hmm. what, what else will be happening? Is this so, a chance oh yeah, for people so we've to got the Startup Mixology Conference coming up um, tomorrow, and it's kind of a little different than our, our traditional mixers. This, this is actually focused on education and really taking the next step. So if you're an entrepreneur or maybe you work at a big company and eventually you want to get into that space and you want to maybe create something that you've had this you know, idea for years and you want to turn it out and, and make it into something, um, we're really focused on every ingredient that goes into that process. Mm -hmm. And so uh, at the Startup Mixology Conference, we'll have speakers take um, just one ingredient and just focus on that ingredient and kind of tell, teach uh, the other entrepreneurs in, in the audience to kind of, you know, how do you, how, what, you know, where do you take this? You know, if you're if from funding or marketing or, you know, it could be anything from uh, any of those to, to, to ultimately take it to the next level. So. What are some of the new, uh, we were talking about one of the things that you feature are, are, are uh, some of the new startups. Right. What are some of the hot new startups and, and maybe some of the emerging, emerging trends that you see? Sure. So there's a lot of startup activity in D.C. We actually just ran a poll uh, on Tech Cocktail where we were kind of showcasing the earliest um, stage companies, and mm -hmm. it's been really um, interesting to watch. Obviously, if in the D.C. area, you probably have seen Living Social. It's gotten a lot of mm -hmm. um, press, and it's a growing uh, company. Um, but aside from that, there's a lot of other companies as well. Um, there's uh, SB Nation, which is actually a, a blog network all focused on sports. Mm -hmm. um, that's based here. Um, ClearSpring has been doing really well. Um, they're based here. Um, we've also got Opower, which helps you understand your, your energy bills. Uh, and kind of uh, help you save, en you know, helps you ultimately save energy. Um, Hello Wallet um, just launched their kind of consumer-facing product that helps you save money. It's kind of like a dashboard, so you can kind of mm -hmm. track all your spending and figure that out. Um, Palantir is, is is a company that's um, based both here and in Palo Alto, and uh, they're really. Um, not so much consumer facing, but they're doing really well. Um, it's been backed by uh, the founder of PayPal, mm -hmm. uh, Peter Thiel. So there's a lot going on here. Um, Genius Rocket is another one that's been kind so of there's a lot. There's a lot. So, so is DC kind of becoming a hub for for some of this kind of activity? It, it definitely is. I think. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of different hubs, right? There's Silicon Valley, and everyone kind of says, okay, who, sure. can we be the next Silicon Valley? And I, with that question, you know, ultimately, it's not really about that. It's about, you know, being the best you can possibly be. Mm -hmm. And each city and each that we've gone into, and we do these events across the country, so we kind of get to see, you know, how each city kind of compares. They kind of each have their own personality and their own traits that make them successful. So as long as you kind of highlight those and, and, and ultimately, you know, use those to, to your advantage, I think, you know, D.C. is definitely right up there. This is kind of a big question, but are, are, is, are all these changes in technology kind of fundamentally changing the way we think and live and oh, do yeah. business? It's definitely, I mean, technology is in everything now. And, that we're, you know, tech innovation is, is, a, is, you know, is kind of the underlying theme in a lot of different products. And so, yeah, I mean, what's the first thing you do in the morning? I mean, I check my phone. You know, that's mm -hmm. something that didn't exist 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. That ability to check your, you know, check on your email, check on your news feeds, find out what your friends are doing, all, you know, right now mm -hmm. where you are. And so, obviously, the trends, there's trends in, in mobile, there's trends in location-based services, there's trends in deals, saving money where you are when you're there. So, ultimately, I think you're going to see a lot lot more of that um, to, to the point where um, consumers are going to be able to, you know, determine what they want and when they want it. What is your website if people want information? Uh, techcocktail.com. Techcocktail.com. Yep. Uh, it, it's techcocktail.com. Yep. Uh, you can also go to our website, myfoxdc.com. We will link you to their website as well. Hope the conference goes well. Thank you very thank much. You very, and the it. mixer, too. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. You. All right, Allison, back to you. 821. Tony, thank you very much. It is a Wednesday morning, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's mistress now speaking out and releasing...